Hello everyone and welcome! Uh, I guess I shouldn't be so excited to say this, huh? Because I'm not happy to say this. Welcome to this week's reaction and the last reaction of season 6. I don't want to say goodbye to Fat. <laughs> They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, okay, let me let me not be ridiculous. Let me not be ridiculous and cry first second of the video. I don't want to say goodbye to Fatu. I really don't. Can't believe we only have a couple of more clips of her, and then it's rewatching town. No more live stuff. Thanks for joining me. It's bittersweet, but I can't wait for the beautiful ending that we're gonna have ahead of us. I'm excited about this week. Now that the Cash Queen's kind of made peace again, we know that Kumi is not far from this. We know that soon we're going to see our girls being reunited and yeah, Fatu is just going to live in bliss. And that's all I want for her. Good for her. Good for her. Today, uh, I'm going to be reacting to two clips because I gave myself the, you know, the Valentine's Day off. Because I just wanted to be away from the internet, if I'm being completely honest. Rough times. I already know that the first clip is the Cash Queens together and Fatu invited them over. Still not sure if Mei Lin actually attended, but I hope she does. I don't want more stress with the Cash Queens. If you liked being with me throughout all of this week's be sure to subscribe to my channel. Be sure to join this little family that we've made during the past nine weeks and stay here. Stay here for the long run because more content is on the way. Let's get into the scheduled program, shall we? We have clips to react and things to see. By the way, I also wanted to be away from the discourse of people not liking that it was Ava and not Kumi. Oh my god, this peanut sauce looks amazing. The recipe that she asked for. I like that, you know. I like seeing all of these people in the same room without fighting. Galentine's Day. Okay, Melin's not going. That's not nice. Who this? Is this Melin? But yeah, my love language is exactly the same. Cooking for my friends is a preferred thing for me. Yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, so it is Maylin. Have they not seen each other since then? That's true. Ava is pretty outspoken about stuff straight away. Yes. True. True and very valid. Thank you, Maylin, for saying this. And I hope other white people watching this relate to what she just said, please. Me too. Being a victim of bullying and standing up why are you apologizing? Technically, you don't have to apologize because, like, you didn't know what to do. I don't think I ever needed to apologize, but okay. Cash queens, back together. This looks so nice. It's so nice. Oh, I want some Mongolian food now. <laughs> are we sure Ava is not a Taurus? Are we really sure? Yeah, but I, I like this because the mood is still quite weird within them and it's good that just because they made peace, like, everything won't be, like, amazing straight away. Things are gonna take a few steps for them to be, like, 100% again, which I like because it's realistic. Like, when you have a fight, you need a bit of time. Oh, <laughs> I mean, okay. You can have time for your friends and still be in a relationship, Fatu. Ah, ah. Go back to Kumi, please. Go back to Kumi. Run. Run, my G. Run. Okay. Okay. This is a cute clip. I'm happy with this clip. I'm happy because I wanted the Cash Queens to get back together. Like, I, I'm i really not in this group of people that just decided to hate the Cash Queens. This Camverse fandom, which mostly includes women, like obviously there's people of other gender identities, but is interesting to me because for a show that is catering towards mostly women, the misogyny that just exists within this fandom is just ridiculous to me. It has happened multiple times over across other remakes and Druk as well. Like, j 
just take a step back sometimes and understand why you assaulting a bunch of teenage girls, but then you give a free pass to other men that do way more horrible things. Like, fair enough if you hold everyone to the same standard, but I just see people talking rubbish about the girls and then being like, oh yeah, Constantine is not that bad. Clearly he has something going on. To me, like, it makes no sense why you will invalidate teenage girls so quickly. Like, I thought we were past that. I thought we were past invalidating teenagers. I mean, drop that misogyny back in 2010 where it belongs. It no longer belongs in this new decade. Like, move past that. Stop just hating girls for the sake of hating girls. I will repeat. Fatu is my main. I adore her in... She's one of my favorite mains of all time. Does not mean she was not a bad friend to, to Ava. And does not mean Ava wasn't also like a, a bad friend. You can understand one thing without like erasing the fact that something else happened. That's what critical thinking is there for. Like Fatu was overwhelmed with so many things. So obviously she forgot about her friend and that's, Fine, you can say that without being like, oh my god, F Ava doesn't, you know, deserve Fatu and Fatu blah blah blah. Like, they're not cancelled because they were bad friends for a bit. It's not like they are racists or homophobic or transphobic or something really bad. They were a bad friend in a small point of time because they had other stuff going on. This happens. I don't know, I just, this, this season, it gave me so much good and it gave me a little bit of bad because people are not willing to, you know, look at the perspectives of all of the girls and I'ma keep it real, Chief, like, the biases with Ava are real. People don't even understand some of the biases that they have, but hating a black girl for absolutely no reason, it's not just because you hate her because her personality is too strong. Some deep-rooted stuff is going on and you need to sort that out. Because hating on Ava makes absolute no sense. Like, you can dislike some of her attitude without just literally being a bully and uh, Ava hater. Again, I digress. I'm gonna go react to this other clip that we have to react. And yeah, let's get into it. Fatu. I hope they let her. Oh my god, yes! 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 Please let her transfer. Oh, oh, this lady has such a kind smile. Oh, and Fatu has such a kind smile. I kept saying, what's the point of cleaning this room if they are not going to use it for anything? Yes! Oh my god, Cash Queen's hug! Oh my god, I miss them hugging so much! And I miss hugging my friends, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, be Oh my god, bless them. Yes, help supportive babies. Don't kill me! Huh. She looks so hurt. They just... Stop with the staring contest. Stop looking at each other. Do more of this. Like, you're doing a lot of this, not enough of this. Like, start yapping. That's what I need from you two. Some people talk too much, you talk too little. You know what I feel like? I feel like when I was a kid and I put, like, my two bratzes, like, now kiss. That's what I want to do with this too. Now speak, please. I like this clip. I'm, I'm happy that my girl... Fatu is gonna be able to transfer, is gonna be able to complete her studies. Hopefully everything goes well, because I don't think biology is easy either, but you do you, my girl. I certainly wouldn't take biology. I was more of an artistic soul. Yeah, I'm still a very much artistic soul. So yeah, cool clip. I don't have complaints other than the fact I don't really understand why Ava apologized she had no business apologizing I've been saying since time that Ava doesn't really have a lot to apologize this season she had last season but I don't think this season she has much to apologize for I feel a little bit hmm, that the cash queens are not as involved with the Kumi situation as like the instas are um 
But to be fair, the cash queens have like more negative connotations towards Kumi than Kumi's friends have about Fatu, if that makes sense. Other than Constantine, and we clearly seen that Constantine is not providing any support, any like support on that regard is Zoe and Ishmael. And both of them are very like present and both of them speak to Fatu as well. So there's no bad blood going on there. Whilst Ava has her beef, Nora doesn't have beef with Kumi as well. But like, I'm one of those people that if my friend likes someone that repeatedly hurts them, at like the 20th time something happens, I will be like, I support you, but I, I don't care about this person. I will be civil and I will speak to this person for the sake of my friend, but I'm not really going to be about like, besties, <laughs> like it's not going to be me because I don't trust you with my friend's heart. At the end of the day, like, I will not get involved. I will not be like, oh, you can't date this person. Like, it's not my business. But I will be like, I don't like you. I love my friend, but I don't like you. So if you hurt my friend, we have issues. And that's on being a Taurus. We are very loyal. We just want to protect our friends and that's it. I see a lot of people thinking that the cash queens are going to pull through and just organize something for Fatu and Kumi to see each other. I don't fully agree that that's going to happen. I think what might happen is like, I've b I said it a couple of times because Ishmael has been quite present in this season, right? And they are a very like good link between Fatu and Kimi. So I think if anybody, Ishmael might be the person that will facilitate them meeting. And I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that because they have been really good friends to Kimi. Um, as well as Zoe, I think Zoe might be involved as well, maybe. Predictions? I predict a reunion before Friday. That's the only thing I really predict. I don't know. I don't think I have a lot of predictions this this time around. Because we are we are reaching the end. So it's more about like tying whatever needs to be tied than, than imagining they're going to come through with something super different and weird. I'm excited to see what's going to come. I'm excited about, you know, the reunion. I'm sad that these are going to be the last clips of Fatu that I'm going to be reacting to. <laughs> December was literally my favorite month simply because I got the best news I've gotten in a while. I cannot tell you how excited I was when, when it was announced that Fatu is going to be the main. I mean, you saw a little bit of it on the beginning of my reactions, but it was different. It was different because back then I didn't even expect that I was I was going to be reacting to anything. I'm going to go now. I will see you hopefully tomorrow if there's a clip tomorrow. If not, I'll see you whenever the new clip comes. But yeah, take care of yourselves. I'm angry. I'm angry for one simple reason. Not only do I have to say goodbye to Fatu this week, but now I also have to say goodbye to the turtle that we all fell in love with this year. I would do just fine with saying goodbye to Mikey over social media an Instagram post so I wouldn't have to get emotional because I love this turtle. This is my turtle. This is all of our turtle. This probably doesn't make much grammatical sense, but I'm upset. I'm upset because I kept saying the entire season I really wish Fatu was going to be able to keep Mikey. And clearly that's not going to happen. So now I'm a little bit sad. What is this meant to represent? That you take care of an animal so well and then you can't even get to keep it? She loves Mikey so much. I love Mikey so much. Whatever. I'm upset now, but let's just let's just watch this clip and get this done with. Come on everybody, let's say goodbye to our turtle. Fatu has the best family and I love that for her. That's what she deserves. That's exactly what she deserves. Okay, I was thinking though, Fatu could get a job in this place because she just has to take care of the animals and hopefully she won't have to do any mathematicians. They are very cute now. I really like them now. But Ishmael is like the deadbeat parent, right? Let's not act like they are in the same footing as Fatu. Fatu done most of the work. 
I'm sorry, but the eyebrows. I'm really upset these teenagers can, like, outrank a bunch of 25-year-olds because they look so nice. And I looked so ugly when I was 18. The world is telling you, just stick with Kumi, Fatu. Oh, Kumi, Kumi is just like crying to her best friends. Oh, bless. This is so cute. This is why it's nice when when you can talk to the friend of the person you like because they know them very well. Oh my god, is Fatu planning a date? Oh my god, I reunion, reunion, reunion. Please tell me this is a, this is prepping the reunion. Okay, I, I don't understand what this means, but I guess he's also asking to meet. Okay, maybe it's not about the meeting, then why is Maylin involved? Ismail, I get it, but why is Maylin involved? Oh my god, thought to get a job in this place, please. And you get to take care of animals. Okay, okay, I mean, it wasn't as sad as I thought it was going to be. Um... But still, I love you, Mikey. I hope you are seeing this. I love you and you were the best pet to ever brace my screen. Thank you very much for providing support to Fatu and to all of us. We love you. Always and forever. Yeah, okay. This has probably been cringy as hell. Um, I don't mind. I'm gonna see on Tumblr or something if someone translated that text so I can figure out what is happening uh, but I really hope it's a reunion because I don't want to wait until Friday I really don't want to wait until Friday I said it before I don't think it would make much sense besides not making much sense I want to see my girls before Friday Friday I want to have like you know a whole rendezvous of them just partying and being happy I don't want stress okay I'm gonna go now Hello everybody, so by the look on my face you can tell I'm excited. Um, I'm excited because today is the day that our girls are getting reunited. And you know why I know they are getting reunited? Because Wednesdays from now on are literally women loving women Wednesdays. That's when the sapphic couples on the scamverse get reunited. And based on you know what happened yesterday, we know for a fact that Kumi and Fatu are meeting. From the text messages, we know that Kumi is going, so that is no stress. And I just have so many high hopes. I knew that we were not gonna get the reunion on a Friday simply because I think it would be too much. Like it already happened with Spider Wits last season. I think it would be too much to, to wait until Friday, especially because I think like Fatu and Kumi have to talk with each other before they get reunited So it would be like Too last minute if they didn't see each other for the entire week And I I need a clip of them holding hands at school And I know that other people have seen them together But it was always on days that things that were a bit weird And this time like hopefully when people see them together It's just gonna be chill It's just gonna be you know happy and chill But yeah I'm super excited for this clip. Let me not take any much more of your time. I'm gonna start reacting right now. Um, yeah, I'm... Ah, okay, this is the wrong headphone. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. Let's go, friends. Let's go, space friends. Thanks a lot. Wednesdays. We love a Wednesday. I, I can't believe they're doing Romeo and Juliet parallels. The gays and Romeo and Juliet parallels. Oh, Kumi is in the house. Kumi is in the building. Kumi looking at the fishes. Star-crossed lovers. Oh my god, Kumi is like, ah, Ishmael. <laughs> oh my god, babies. I'm gonna start crying. I can already feel it. <laughs> She's putting everything together. <laughs> <laughs> All the things are showing up now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This little nod. <laughs> I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god. They're so beautiful. Have you seen a more beautiful couple? Spider with Tom, sorry, but you lost to these two. This is how you fall in love. Exactly. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Soft spoken highs. 
Oh my god, they have been waiting to see each other for so long. Yes. Say it. Express yourself. Express yourself. <laughs> this kids are literally based on metaphors and metaphors only. Oh, to be noticed. To be seen. Oh, to be seen and to be loved. Kumi is so in love with Fatu and Fatu is so in love with Kumi. They've been holding back this entire time. I can't believe Kimmy is crying. Oh my god. Okay, my hipster ass is living for this song. I know my reaction is being really tame, but like, as a queer girl, it's just... This is just so beautiful to me. And, and knowing that queer girls younger than myself will be able to see them. It's just pure love, man. Oh, the consent. Yes. The way that Kimi laughs with Fatu is just... My world would revolve around that smile. And the direction as well, like... The girls are just such good actors. Just amazing. I love them. Oh god. Thing is, I'm not gonna go into the- I'm not gonna go too much into this last part. Simply because I don't think a lot of words are needed. At the beginning of this season, I was very happy because me, a black girl, who also happens to like women, um, was, you know, very pleased with the fact that there was gonna be this kind of representation in this canvas because it's it's important beyond words and a couple of times in the season i felt so loved and so overwhelmed because they touched on a lot of topics that are very important and very dear and near to my heart and the main takeaway from this clip is what I felt about couples like Britanna and uh, Emily and Naomi from Skins is what some other kids and some other queer girls are going to feel about these two. And when it comes to shows about teens, like now that I'm 24, I, I get to remove myself a little bit from it because I'm not living because I'm not living those intense years anymore. You are still experiencing a lot of firsts. Uh, the good thing is like, this clip has shown the first time between two women and it being beautiful without being predatory, fetishizing, and it's showing it like in a special manner that is all about the love and all about the respect and, and it's just, Again, I'm, I think <laughs> in the beginning of my reactions, I was doing a little bit better with the words that I would say, simply because like this season has filled my heart with so much love and so much happiness that it took a bit um, for, for Sapphics to be represented within this universe, but for a black sapphic to be represented. And she was represented in its full glory. Uh, we had our first lesbian main that happens to be a black person. They decided to tell this story. Like at the end of the day, there were so many other stories that they could have decided to tell. And they told us, and they said, Fatu's story is worth telling. And that is just beautiful. Fatu's story is worth telling. Kumi's story is worth telling. It's worth telling lesbians that how they look at other women is not wrong. Is worth telling bisexual girls that it's normal to feel doubts, but it doesn't make you any less valid. Is normal 
to want to kiss your girlfriend as soon as you see her. This story was told in a way that has been so beautiful that attached normality to a lot of things that queer girls struggle with. And yeah, like <laughs> I'm just, I'm just completely in love with this clip. I'm, I'm in love with the love. I'm in love with the fact that Fatu was allowed to tell Kimi how she actually sees her. And yeah, again, tomorrow I'm still hoping for a, a more in-depth conversation between them. Wouldn't mind another cuddle clip of them just in bed together and, and, and sharing um, their opinions and, you know, talking about their journey since the beginning. Maybe figuring out when Kumi started liking Fatu. I would love to know that because we knew that Fatu was in love and knew she was, you know, completely head over heels for Kumi since the beginning. So I, I'm really interested to know. Uh, when Kumi started feeling the same. The smile on my face is not going to disappear today. This is one of the reasons that I maybe feel so protective about this season is I waited a long time for a season like this to happen and seeing other people not give it the due respect that it deserves. Of course, this season has had some flaws like any other season of every TV show ever. I never seen a TV show that is perfect beginning to end. But the choices that they made have been really impactful to me and for that I'm thankful for it. I'll wait until the last clip to like fully give my opinions on what I feel about the season and what I feel like went well and what didn't. But the, the disrespect that some people have shown it saying that, you know, season felt like queer baiting or, you know, just insulting the cash queens like they deserve it. It's just, just ruined the experience of being in the fandom whilst I'm enjoying my thing. Um, which is, which is the first time that I really, really felt that across the episodes. For the queer community that is white and is enjoying this season, just remember that like your queerness does not excuse your racism and a lot of people have been showing their racist rhetorics left, right and center on the past couple of days, which is really disappointing. Um, it's one of those I'm disappointed but not surprised and it just angers me. I feel like a gatekeeper sometimes, but I wish I could gatekeep the season from people that would disrespect it like this, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just got into like a little bit of a bad mood before the clip simply because I was seeing back and forth opinions by other people. And yeah, I'm glad that the clip happened the way that it happened because it just, it just reminded me that more important than hating and disliking these people's opinions is me loving the show. And I love the show. This clip was beautifully directed, beautifully acted. The cinematography is fantastic. I love the coloring. I love everything. I love the music. And that is what I should focus on. And I hope that's what you are focusing on too. I'm gonna, you know, take my time in rewatching this clip. But I hope, I hope everyone is as happy with it as I am. If not, it's okay. But... I'm just thankful that, you know, other black girls that happen to love women will be able to love this season and experience this season and see themselves represented and see their love as more than just this, you know, predatory thing. I, I'm just happy that people will be able to see this and, and see themselves in it. Maybe I'm rambling a little bit too much. Maybe I am, but I don't know. I will see everybody tomorrow. Um, yeah, thank you very much for seeing this bit with me. Hello everyone, how are we feeling? How are we feeling from yesterday? As everyone digested how magnificent yesterday was, they now realize how much they mean to each other, how much they love each other. 
there's no more fear in Kimi's mind and there's no more fear in Fatu's mind. Now they, you know, they're fully in, fully committed to each other and I love that. Yesterday's clip really, really was magnificent. It just made me so happy. Like, I have no complaints with yesterday's clip. And from what I've seen today, it's another cuddle clip. And you know how I feel about cuddle clips. You know how happy they make me. Cuddle clips are just my jam, are just the thing that gets me fully, fully going. I hope they, they have a little conversation. And yeah, I don't want to keep you for too long. I'm just going to jump into the reaction. What a good thing to wake up to. What a good thing to wake up to. So let's go. <sighs> what? Is that how she wakes up? Really? Kimi is a nerd. Kimi is the nerd we all love. Also to my friend Juan and to my friend Taryn. Both of them really wanted a science nerd. Here we have it. Oh my god, I love them. Oh my god, their smiles just fit each other so well. Yes, yes, just stay like that forever. You're so cute. Oh my god, they are so cute. Young love is so pure and so beautiful. They just... Oh my god. And Kumi is so comfortable. Like, it's literally how it started and how's it going. You know? <laughs> if it was before, Kumi would be freaking out and probably be reaching for the entire kit of makeup already. Is she doing that? Nope. I can't believe she got up like this, though. <laughs> That's me waking up. It's just so confused. She's like, huh? What? <laughs> also, I love Kumi's bedding. I really associate green with her. Like, both neon green and just normal green. Sorry I'm rewatching this again, but this is really cute. <laughs> that was such a cute clip. I'm a little bit mm, I wish they talked more, but it was the morning, like they just woken up. They don't need to DTR already. I do hope they give each other that time to have a conversation about their relationship and about like when they started liking each other and, you know, just to clear up some misunderstandings that happened in the past, just so their relationship now starts with a clean slate. and. There's no, like, further resentment from anything that happened in the past. I'm also really, really happy that everyone is so happy for them. So Ishmael messaged uh, Fatu and the girls messaged Fatu and it's just so cute. It's just so, so cute. Um, I'm happy. I'm excited for tomorrow to see how the party is going to be. All their friends are going to be there, but they can just enjoy the relationship bliss without having to worry about anything. I can't believe, I can't believe tomorrow is the last video I'm going to react to. <sighs> it's making me really emotional because this season means a lot to me. But I'm going to, I'm going to leave that for tomorrow. Let me not get emotional already and wow we started pouring it's pouring outside i don't know if you can hear it but yeah i think i'm gonna make myself some tea get some biscuits and just enjoy the rest of my afternoon probably watch something with my friends but yeah see everyone tomorrow yeah. You know what this is. Uh, you know what we are doing here. We are going to react to the last clip of the season. And I'm trying really hard. But I've been like dreading this moment the entire day. Because I know I'm going to be happy with the finale. It's just... Um, yeah, I think it makes more sense if I go straight into reacting and then I go into 
whatever I want to say. Uh, otherwise, I'm not going to stop crying the entire clip. So I don't think that's what you came here for. So let me just react to the clip and then we can have a little conversation. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope everyone is happy because you probably saw the clip already if you are watching this. And yeah, okay. Skateboarding Fatu makes another appearance. Hola. My friend literally said that it was gonna be a megaphone, so her mind, her mind. Cash Queen's just vibing. Oh my days! Oh my god. The way you me just waltzed in. Also, she looks amazing. I love this outfit. Everyone looks amazing today. Finn getting the attention he deserves. Oh my god, I can't believe they are singing. They are so cute. <laughs> yes, my boy Finn. Hey, 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 hey. I love seeing all of them so happy. Yada! <laughs> Kake. Who this? Who this blonde person? <laughs> she Constantine's girlfriend now? Oh, I want a party so bad. Oh my god, they are so beautiful. I love them. Nora and Fatu so happy, both of them. What's happening? Oh my god. Oh my god, they're leaving? Oh my god. This looks too spacey. Did you prepare this with Ava? Oh my god. Space gazing. This is so nice. Theoretically, you don't have to be afraid. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Kiwi said she loves Fatu. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And Fatu is so pleased. Oh my god, and she has a mic. This is so cute. This looks so beautiful. This is so nice. Kumi's just pouring her heart out. This shot looks so beautiful. It's so insane. This is what I wanted. <sighs> Kumi is so happy because she knows she's loved for who she is. In the credits. Girls, I'm talking about girls. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I can't breathe, <laughs> I'm so happy, <laughs> she's wearing slides, <laughs> oh my god, I love this generation so much, <laughs> it's my kid. finale if I didn't cry my eyes out would it <laughs> this generation just made me feel like a teen again all of us because of the pandemic we've been basically put in a position where we became teens like a lot of us don't have jobs a lot of us can't go anywhere um, a lot of us were forced to like move back in with our parents or back where we lived before uh, I certainly did I'm now staying in my like childhood bedroom with so many memories from before. The only difference is now I have a show that is exactly what I needed back then. I don't know. I, I, I just have to say like how it feels different and how it hits different to have people that look like you, people that feel the same way that you do, people that love the same way that you do. Especially if it is in a show that you love and that you have loved for a long time, but the representation of people that looked like you and felt like you was lacking. And now they decided to tell the story of someone that looks like me and loves like me. And that has so, so much meaning. And I know like 
It feels ridiculous that I'm crying over a show about teenagers, right? But at the end of the day, I didn't have this when I was younger. And people even older than me certainly did not have it. And it warms my heart to know that girls younger than me and girls my age even have this to look up to. And that a show has said your stories are valid and your stories are worth telling. It's not always about the heterosexual couples. It's not always about the white people. It's not always about the ones that have been in positions where they've been represented over and over again. This season has been about love, has been about friendship, has been about family, has been about self-care, has been about taking care of yourself, but taking care of those that you love. And that makes me so, so happy. This season has also been groundbreaking because they had a bisexual girl expressing her frustrations, saying how difficult it is to be bisexual sometimes. Because people just assume it's easy because we get, you know, today men, we get straight privilege or whatever it's called. Like our experiences don't matter. A lot of us had those experiences that very much interlap with the lesbian community as well. They are not the same, but it doesn't mean that they are not valid and they are not worth exploring. You do not know how heartbroken I was when we found out that Scam Austin wasn't gonna go through. Simply because it was gonna be the first lesbian and the first black main. Do we understand the power of this? I know we ended up having Liv in Scam NL, but the fact is we had a black lesbian. We had someone that basically could reach so many marginalized communities and so many communities that had their stories not being told for a long time. It broke my heart and Druck said, you know what? We are going to mend it and we are going to make it amazing. We are going to have a black man. We are going to have a black lesbian and we are going to have the love interest also be a woman of color. Like that has power. And I had a few fights with some of, of the sapphics in this fandom that are white and were very much concerned only about, you know, the side of the story that involves the sapphics, right? And trust me, I love that bit too. But the fact that Druk not only chose to tell that story, but as well include racism in this story. I, I just cannot, I just, I said it a couple of times during my reactions, but my mind still is very much taking in the fact that there were so many characters in this generation that they could have decided to tell the story and they chose Fatu's story. If the show ends up not having another season, we are going to end up with Fatu's story. And I'm happy with that. Obviously, I want this show to continue, but they could have told multitude of other stories and they chose the one of the black lesbian and they didn't make it about the trauma that it can be coming out which a lot of stories that involve lgbtq plus characters are they are about the trauma that comes with coming out that can be coming out and this one it wasn't that and 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 there's a lot of value in that. I, I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy this season exists. There are a few things that I wish played out differently, but at the end of the day, there's not a single show on the planet that you agree with all of the choices. Overall, this is literally one of my favorite seasons in the Scamverse. What I decided is, I said that I was gonna leave my comments and whatever I disagreed with and put it on the end of this video, but I just want this video to end on a happy note, if I'm being completely honest. Me and my friends are gonna do a podcast um, that is gonna come up in the next week or so about what we enjoyed about the season, what we didn't enjoy, and having an open conversation because different people feel differently about 
the entire season. So if you are interested in that, if you want to hear my opinions of what I didn't fully agree with, or the things that I really, really loved, be sure to check that. But today, what I'm going to do is thank everybody. Firstly, I want to thank the writers of this season. You told beautiful stories and you told them respectfully. You listened to the fans and you listened to the marginalized communities of the stories that you were telling. Over the season, I had the privilege of speaking to some of you and I thank you for listening to me. I thank you for opening up the space for me to even be allowed to to speak to you because at the end of the day, you could have just written the season and called it a day. You didn't have to check on our reactions, on our feedback, on what we felt. You didn't have to engage. You didn't have to reply back. And you doing that just shows that you deeply care about us and about the stories that you are telling. I want to thank everybody that was part of, of the team to bring this together. Doing something over COVID must have been really hard and you nailed it out the park. Then I want to thank all of the talent. I want to thank the actors. Um, they all did a beautiful job. But I want to especially thank these two simply because they devoted themselves to these two characters and you could see the chemistry between them and you could see how they were willing to transform these characters into something that is going to transcend when it comes to good portrayals of uh, of queer characters. And last but not least, certainly not least, I want to thank all of you. <laughs> and I'm going to start crying again. I'm going to thank all of you for watching my videos, engaging with me, speaking with me. I want to thank you for listening to me and for making me feel like I, as a black person, have a voice. I think all of you know that fandoms are quite toxic to people of color. And even though I had disagreements and I had problems with some people within the fandom, most of you have been so welcoming to my experiences. Most of you have been so open and receptive to what I said and that means a lot to me more than you can know. I'm not a very self-confident person, I'm really not and doing these videos has been quite hard because I had to really leave my comfort zone especially at a time like this where sometimes it's even difficult to get out of bed. I feel very proud of myself that I accomplished doing the 10 weeks and uploading on time over those 10 weeks. I was pretty overwhelmed so I forgot this. I only realized when when I went to clean my face. But I also wanted to thank the Alter Love server and the Druckies Gen 1 server for being my ride or dies in this season. Thank you very much for providing me a sense of community. Um, I will thank you all whenever, but I just want you to get the actual acknowledgement on this video because you are as deserving as anyone else I thanked. So, yeah, um, I, I think that's it. Um, we reached the end of the season. It's done. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch the clip again. I'm going to see the social media content because I had to step away from the finale so I wouldn't be spoiled. That final thing, it's exactly what I wanted. I don't know if you remember, but before the museum clip, I did say that I wanted like a projection sort of thing and them to kiss in front of the projection and this is exactly what I what I was thinking. I love this season. I love Trok. I, I don't know how to say it still. I think this is it. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed all of the content that I put out. I'm gonna continue doing Scamverse related content. I have two videos coming out soon. Then I also have the mini podcast with my friends. I really hope there's a season seven and I will do everything 
that I can if there's even anything that I can do to make sure that it happens because I don't want to lose this generation. Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you very much for being here from the bottom of my heart. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.